one quick note uh, because of the modern convenience of video and television I uh, stopped recording and I ran out and got some some more bags I ran out of plastic storage bags now this is the plastic storage bag size that I uh, normally use and I thought uh, in getting these I, I just ran out to the general store family dollar store dollar store to get those and these are the bags uh, very easy ziplock zip zip seal bags and these are in the quart size well in my haste I went to the store to get some more bags to finish uh, compiling all of the products that I had formerly in these jars and I noticed one big difference in the bags now I had the other bags and I said oh I'm gonna get the sandwich sandwich bags because I get more in here 62 bags for one dollar I thought that was the best deal in the world well here is the difference you can see that let's see uh, this is the bag that I normally use this is the bag that I got so ladies and gentlemen who make your own products try your best not to get the sandwich bags one they are very thin in their plastic uh, as opposed to the freezer bags and I knew that but I just picked up something uh, that I needed anyway I thought that I could use them anyway and I did not factor in the in the fact that one was a sandwich bag and one is a freezer bag these are clearer in color so they're more transparent than these and uh, like I said the size and just read the box uh, a good deal is not always uh, a good deal after you've purchased it but these sandwich bags are six and a half by five point uh, eight seven five so and then the freezer bags are much larger in their they are quart so they're seven seven inches by eight inches and these are the ones you really really want uh, um, because of the clarity of the bag and the size of the bag now of course it works very well for items that are, are I don't have that much in uh, of course you know more than that would be a waste but also I do have these bags here which they are called snack bags and they work as well I got them from the same store they're thin however they're this size so you know you try to salvage as much as you can you'll run into money of course after a while but you see the difference in these three that's that's three dollars and I have uh, over 200 almost 200 bags so they they serve its purpose and the the uh, cost factors into it but it's not it's not a big factor but I would suggest to you if you have a lot of product like this could have easily gone into a bag like this or eat vice versa I just want to make sure that for me I like everything to look exactly the same when I work but um, you can use any of the bags that I've gotten here that you, you, you can get those from your, your store. And um, I just wanted to give you a little side note for you to keep in mind, uh, you DIY-ers, that uh, using plastic bags, make sure that they are the food grade plastic bags. And um, for most of you who uh, buy in bulk, you can use uh, several companies. I know they're out there on the internet. Several companies have bags that you can buy in bulk if you like to package things. I think uh, if you're selling to someone or if you're packaging, making products to give as gifts, you want your gifts to look as nice or your products to look as nice as possible. But what you use at home, it you know, that has something to do with it also. You don't want a lot of uh, uh, clutter and you don't want a lot of uh, bags that you know, make it look bad because you tend to lose some of your product that way so again keep in mind the the um, creativity that you use in order to catalog your products that's wonderful but make sure that you keep everything neat and clean make sure you keep everything organized and labeled uh, take your time and uh, make everything as uniform as possible so you'll know what to find what you can what to look for and 
one of the other things I think I showed you my storage bin they are wonderful now the plastic bins they they tend to run into money uh, into into cost if you get a lot of them I just so happened when I had my store just bought a lot of them because it was easier for me so I saved all of my plastic bins and my god I furnished my child's room with plastic bins at one point before she got her furniture but I used the plastic stackable bins you know and I think I showed you already oh my god this is one of the drawers that go into the plastic storage bin and you can fill that up with product uh, until it's full and keeping it organized and I have labeled the front of the the bin well I'm getting ready to label the front of the bin so that I can, I'll know exactly what's in there also when I have bulk milk and bulk shea I have the large plastic containers that I put those things in it works well for me I really really like it now what I, I am going to do is the milk that I have in my big plastic bin I am going to not put it in the bin any longer when I was in my store it was easier for me to scoop and keep up with but now that I do most of my work here from home uh, I don't have a need to have that much of uh, milk or and shea butter in just sitting in the bins so I'm going to to organize it and I'm gonna use the big sandwich sandwich bags fill those up and use those and keep so I can keep everything sealed and keep everything as fresh as possible again to all of you who buy the raw products from me uh, keep in mind that you and you use those for your own particular products and your own, your hair care just keep in mind that you need to keep your products as uh, fresh as possible a lot of things can go in the refrigerator uh, there are some uh, herbs you can put in the freezer but make sure you use a freezer bag make sure you wrap them very well so that you can preserve the life of your product so now that is it for today I um, will see you later on probably today I have a couple of more videos to do today and I look forward to talking to you quite uh, quite soon and you guys have a great day bye bye <laughs>